my Caribbean or Jamaican or Barbadian or Guyanan chicken coconut curry. Let's make this. I should have got chicken thighs, but I've got chicken breasts instead. So I've got a kilo in here, which is like three large chicken breasts. Should serve about four people. So to that, I've washed it with lemon juice and vinegar, by the way. So to that, we're going to get some of the Jamaica Valley curry powder. And I'm going to put a tablespoon in there, sprinkle that all over. Next, I'm going to get some Jamaica Valley chicken seasoning. Again, tablespoon. I'm going to spread that all over. To that, in here, I've got some crushed pimento. And we're just going to add a teaspoon of that, sprinkle that all over. So now I'm going to get my hands in there, give that a good mix, to make sure everything's coated. If everything's not coated, I'm going to put some more in, but that should be about enough. And while I do that, I'm going to let that rest for a little bit. I will normally leave it overnight, but I'm hungry. So that's all mixed there. Now, wash my hands. I've got a large pan here. I'm going to put about two teaspoons, sorry, two tablespoons of oil in there. I'm going to get that heated up. And then while it's heating up, we're going to get some more Jamaica Valley curry powder. The link's here and my cords there. Don't forget to use them. And we're going to add another tablespoon into the pan. And we're just going to sprinkle that in. And I'm just going to toast it off slightly, just a little bit. Get it nice and coated in. This is what we Jamaican do, you know. We put the curry powder before anything else. Now, in with the chicken. And we're just going to brown this off in the pan. Keep turning the chicken. Make sure it gets nicely cooked, nice and evenly. Nice already. Right, because I'm using chicken breast, I'm going to take them out now. If I was using thigh or any other cut of meat, I'd leave them in. But we're going to take them out so it doesn't dry out. Clean pan. Getting judged all the time. So there's the chicken out. And then we're going to put our peppers, peppers, onions straight in. Along with our peppers. Cook them down for about a minute. We'll add about three tablespoons of water in there. Just to deglaze the bottom. While these are cooking down. And then we're going to add in our garlic. I better work all day, I'm very tired. Keep on cooking that down for about another two or three minutes. My onions are nice and soft, so in with the scotch bonnet. Give it a quick stir. We're also going to throw in our scallions. There's two scallions in here, get them in. And about 10 grams of thyme, get them in. Quick stir. Now we're going to put our chicken back in. Cook that down for about another two minutes. Next, we're going to pour in our Jamaican Valley coconut milk. So, this has been going for about 10 minutes now. I'm going to have our potatoes in. I've cut them small because I like them small. We're going to let this cook for about another 10 minutes or so. Once the potatoes are nice and soft, it's time to eat. Guys, look at this. It looks absolutely amazing. And I think that is ready to plate. Oh. And there it is. Have a look at that. It looks amazing. It smells amazing.